Hello, everybody. It's John Tatey, Internet Game Show host. This episode of Pick a Choice is sponsored by Don Q Rum, the unquestionable rum. What does it mean to be unquestionable? Well, it means that when the makers of this fine rum offered us actual money to make Pick a Choice, a fake game show that barely makes sense, we didn't question it. Instead, we poured ourselves a drink. Remember, enjoy Don Q and Pick a Choice responsibly. It's the AV Club's game of fantastical decision-making, Pick a Choice, where our celebrity guests compete against nobody for non-existent cash and prizes. And now it's time to meet your host, me! Hey, AV Clubbers, this is your Editor-in-Chief, and it's time again to play the decision-making game that's sweeping two nations. Pick a choice. Our guest today is Damian Lemon. Hi, Damian. Thanks How for being doing? here. How we Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. I like that intro. You do, yeah? I like it. You put, a little you, flourish? Yeah, it was nice. Nice flourish. It says here on this card, Damian, that you're an acclaimed stand-up comedian who okay. currently hosts... Oh, are you okay with that? I'm with okay. You don't I'm, think you're acclaimed? I like I like acclaimed better than fledgling. <laughs> Have you been called fledgling? No, I, that was always my... I just didn't want to die with fledgling in my, my <laughs> right. obituary. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. No, not fledgling. We're going to go with acclaimed. Beautiful. He's an, he's an acclaimed stand-up comedian who currently hosts the comedy game show Comedy Knockout on True TV. Yeah. So I guess you are a comedy game show host, too. Man. I am. Look at this. But your thing is on real TV instead of my rectangle on a web page bullshit I've got going here. Our show is also viewed okay. on laptops everywhere. You know, you don't have to be nice to me, Damien. Hey, I man. feel like a very small man right now. No, but I love the flourish. I feel like there's something in your future <laughs> from that, that flourish. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. Okay, Damien and I are going to get along just fine. So let's move right along to round one. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to remind you that this episode of Pick a Choice is sponsored by Don Q Rum, the unquestionable rum. And as such, you have a Don Q chip here that you can play okay. at any time to make your choice an unquestionable choice. Ooh. Which means that neither I nor the viewing audience can question Damien's choice, or like else that. they will face the wrath of Don Q himself or itself. Okay, Damien, you okay. know the rules. You're going to pick two right. famous names from our blue deck here. Okay. Here with one, I'm going over here. This nice. Here. Alex Trebek. Speaking of Look game shows, that. yeah. Uh-huh. Brian Dennehy or Pick Again. Why is Brian Dennehy, why, uh, there's no <laughs> investment in Brian Dennehy? It's just like, it, you know, maybe you're not happy with Brian Dennehy and you want to pick again. Now I feel bad if I pick against Brian Dennehy. It might become beef. I doubt you know he's what? watching. All right. Sorry, Brian. I'm going to go right back in <laughs> okay. one more time. Take okay. it easy. Let's see what we got. Lara, Lara Croft. Croft. Lara Croft, there it is. Okay, Alex, you're back or Lara Croft, and now wow. we'll pick a scenario in okay. which you will envision one of these people. All right. Uh, buying at a dispense, is this a dispensary in San Francisco? I'm thinking it's a dispensary because it's Greg Proops. Is it a dispensary? Yes, this is okay. Greg Proops addition to the scenario deck. It is. Uh, yeah, okay. okay, so either Alex Trebek or Lara Croft are going to make a, a trip to a dispensary in San Francisco for you. Who do you want hooking you up? Now, this could go either way. Because I think Lara probably needs to take the edge off. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? She's probably mm -hmm. a little up, you know, a little high strung. But I think... What about Alex Alex, Alex will have so much information about each strand. He's like Leafly before <laughs> Leafly. But there's something about getting high with somebody that thinks they know everything. You know? So I'm going with Lara. Okay. We're going okay. Go with Lara. I like the Leafly reference. Isn't that a great app? Absolutely. You Absolutely. always got to look it up. You, do, you got to. You got to, do the, you got to do the research. I like my weed to have like an origin story of a comic book supervillain. You know what I mean? Like, I need to know what the backstory, what happened. How did this happen? What strain is your favorite? What do you Ooh, go for? I like a Girl Scout cookie. What's the backstory for Girl Scout? I'm more of a Sour D man myself. Really? Yeah. It's traditional. Yeah. I like it. Uh, too hidebound for you, Sour D? No, it's just, too you Too old-fashioned? No, it's, it's a traditional. It's not old-fashioned. Yeah. It's just, you go, yeah, it's traditional. Yeah. I like it. Uh, I like the, the, it's hybrid, you know? Yeah. So it's not gonna get you, it's not gonna get you too crazy. You're not gonna flip out and have a panic attack. And it's not gonna have you on the couch. You could kinda live life. Whereas the sour diesel might have you a little too... Little itchy. Little, little itchy. itchy. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yep. Okay, this, is, this should just be its own show, Damien and me talking I about mean, uh, some drug that you would get at a dispensary. We're not gonna say what. Exactly. Lara Croft is the winner of round one. Yes. And we move on to round two. Let's do it. <laughs> 
Same thing, Damien. Two more famous names. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going right in. And I'm going to top right Off in. Off the top, okay. Off the top, pardon me. The Tricks Rabbit. Okay, interesting. Tony Danza. This should be interesting. And yeah. what scenario are we going to put them in? Ooh. Managing your financial investments. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, Damien, do you want Tony Danza or the Trix Rabbit managing your finances? Which I imagine are quite sprawling at this point they, since you're a big TV star. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> you know? I mean, no, it's not where it needs to be just yet. But we're on our way. We're on our way. What are the pros and cons here? Tony Danza and the Trix Rabbit. Well, the Trix Rabbit, one, he's fictional. Right. So, you know... <laughs> He's pretty much, he's, he's very much in the kid community, so I don't know what the, the yield is. He's managing greedy, finances. though, which might work is, out for he you. He is greedy. Yeah, he, he always wants those tricks. He would even take them from that children. True. Tony Danza, I don't know. I'm going to go with Tony. Really? You know why? Because I've seen Tony Danza recently, probably within the last year, I've seen him at a nice little coffee shop in, in New York City. Yeah. Sitting alone, but he looked like his money was still good. And, you it's, know? and it's been a while. If it's we spend some time. Right. I think we don't need to elaborate on that. Tony is not maybe at the peak of his uh, prominence. I'm not going to say anything bad about okay. Tony Danza no, at nor, all. Tony used to box. Hey, he was on Broad City this season. He, he see, look around. at that. See, so you know. You've been keeping up. So you saw Tony in a coffee shop, and he looked like he had himself he together. Like he still had his paper together. Did you say hi? He looked like he was into his little coffee situation. He yeah. looked... He looked like he didn't want to be bothered with me, you know? Maybe he was looking over his books. He in could have been looking over some Excel sheets yeah. and seeing what was going on. Maybe he's an accountant on the low. Yeah, maybe so. Okay, so in that case, Tony Danza is going to be managing Damien's finances. Tony and Danza. He's the winner of round two. There you go. Round three. Damien, round three is the variety round, where okay. we play a game designed just for you. You're Ooh. the host of Comedy Knockout, where comedians uh, compete with each other. This is true. But all in good fun, right? Sometimes. So sometimes, Sometimes, really. sometimes it goes below the belt. Wow. Okay, well, we no. have uh, a game here <laughs> called Where's the Beef? Okay. Where I'll be asking you questions about uh, real-life beefs between uh, comedians. Okay. Comedian fights, feuds, whatever okay. you want to call them. You're about okay? to bring me into some messy situations. I am, but you're okay. you, have to, you just have to know the trivia. You don't have to take sides. Okay, okay? For everyone you get correct, I'll give you three seconds to plug your show at the end of the round, okay? Okay. Question one. Whose success did David Cross describe this way? Mm. He's in the right place at the right time for that G shucks, proud to be a redneck, I'm just a straight shooter millionaire in cut off flannel selling ringtones act. The redneck thing has me one way, but then the cutoff flannel has yes. it. I know it was a tour. The cutoff flannel is a big hint. The cutoff flannel, I'm thinking that's, I think that's Larry the Cable Guy. You are correct. Okay. One there right. Is. Yeah. Okay. Next go. up. Go ahead. What fellow SNL alumnus was Bill Murray referring to when mm. he said, when you become famous, you've got like a year or two where you act like a real asshole. You've got like two years to pull it together mm. or it's permanent. What fellow SNL alumnus was mm. Bill Murray talking about there? Was it Chevy Chase? <laughs> yes, it was. Was that a guess just uh, based it was, on... It was, it was a guess. An There's educated... Context is, you know, <laughs> reputation yeah. that's out there from what I understand. Okay, fair. I won't push you any further Don't on that. Don't push me, please. That's six seconds in your bank so far. All right, next up. Wow, six seconds. At a roast for Dallas Cowboys star Emmett Smith, okay. Jamie Foxx repeatedly interrupted a comedian's act by yes. pretending to be the comic's inner voice. Right. A voice that said things like, I just told another joke that didn't go over. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should talk about how black people have to struggle. Yeah, that'll get them on my side. Yes. Who was the comic who Jamie Foxx destroyed that night? I am your conscience. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a classic. <laughs> uh, is, I know his first name is Doug. Yeah. Is he the, because I'm getting confused with Doug Williams, the, the, is it Doug Williams or Doug Smith? Doug Williams? Uh, it's Doug Williams. Doug Williams. That's Let's right. Oh, three for three. That's three nine three. seconds. That's a great YouTube clip, by the way. Look it up oh, when you're done watching this. One of the best, oh. for real. I think he might have destroyed his career in that. I think he kind of did. Kind of did, right? So, uh, Okay. <laughs> What tough-talking Boston comic was the late Bill Hicks referring to when he said in an interview, I have a scoop for you. I stole his act. I camouflaged it with punchlines, and to really throw people off, I did it before he did. Who was Bill Hicks beefing with? Wow. Is that Dennis Leary? 
Yes, wow. very good. That's right. Twelve seconds. Okay. Twelve seconds. You might. I might give you a couple seconds. <laughs> you got a verse really? or something? Yeah. If you want to spit something, do a hook. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, last one for the full 15 seconds. After he made jokes about her weight, what late night host did Roseanne Barr describe as a triangle-headed Eddie Murphy look-alike motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> a triangle-headed Eddie Murphy look Is it Arsenio Hall? Perfect round, five for five. Thank you, thank well you. done, wow. Damien. Wow, thank you. Okay, so you feel can look accomplished. right into camera three over here. You're gonna have 15 seconds. Leo, you have the timer ready? I do. Okay, when you're ready. All right. Go. I need you to watch Comedy Knockouts, one of the funniest TV shows to come out in the last 50 years. <laughs> it's so on True TV, it's Thursdays at 10.30 p.m. We have hilarious comedians. We have uh, Jim Norton, Kurt Mesker, Yamanika Saunders, uh. So Tony Danza and Lara Croft were the winners for the first two right. rounds. So all you're going to do is pick a final scenario here, Damien, for them okay. to face off in. Shit. Spending a $100 Amazon gift card for you. I really like this one. Right. So uh, we're either going to give Lara Croft or Tony Danza $100 to spend on Amazon for you. Who yeah. would you rather have spending it? I'm going with Lara. Why is that? What do you think she'll buy for you? Uh, I just think that, you know... Being that she's from the realm of virtual reality, there's no limit to her imagination. I think that her imagination and the wealth of things that are on Amazon will come together in a way that will bring about something beautiful for me that will fit in the denomination of $100. That's right. just a long way of saying I really... You don't was, know. I, I have no real That reason. was a very long way of saying it, yes. though, which is good. Tony Danza would probably just buy, what, a copy of Excel for you or something. Probably, such. or some yeah. more coffee. Maybe a coffee maker, <laughs> yeah. you know? Who knows? Okay, so Lara Croft uh, comes out on top Croft. for Damian Lemon. Damien, you're such a good player. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I had a great time. The last thing we'd like uh -oh. to ask you to do is add to the deck. Let's you do get it. to add one famous name and one scenario I'm with on it. the blue and gold cards, respectively. And uh, perhaps to help you think what you'd like to put down, okay. I'd like to treat you to this bottle of Don Q rum. Whoa, well, thank you. I think I will enjoy this <laughs> in all three cameras. Yes, thank you, Don Q. We want you to enjoy that with ours and Don Q's compliments. Thank you, Don. Let's wave goodbye to the folks. Thanks, Damien. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You. You. That, yeah. Remember that? Bye now.